Today, the 5th of May, we celebrate the life of Blessed Edmund Ignatius Rice, the founder of the Christian Brothers. His vision of service in addressing the needs of others is the reason that St Edmund's College Canberra and other Christian Brothers schools are here today and we can proudly call ourselves Edmund people. Through the example set for us by the Christian Brothers, we honour today members of our college community who are living examples of selfless acts of service that have contributed to building our amazing school and creating a vibrant spirit that values service to others and strives to build young men of strong character. The words of Prophet Isaiah encourage us to always be Edmund people, who through our acts of service seek to always bring hope and love to those in need. We start with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom my soul delights. I have endowed him with my spirit, that he will bring justice to the nations. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. We pray that each member of our community can hear the call to service that Edmund modelled and that was inspired by Jesus Christ. The second reading from Ephesians. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have the power to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know in, in this love that you will be filled with the fullness of God. May our actions always be based in love. The scriptural theme for 2020 is whatever you have learned, received or heard from Christ, put it into practice. Our scriptural theme guides and encourages us to actively engage with each other to make our college and our community a better place for all. May we be open and aware of the lessons that Christ brings to us each day. Brother Matt McEwen is a Christian brother who was an integral part of our St Edmunds College community for 20 years. He was the spiritual heart and living touchstone of our Edmund Rice tradition. The Brother Matt McEwen Faith and Service Awards are named in his honour and awarded to those staff, students and old boys who have made a significant contribution to St Edmunds College and the wider community in the service of others. These awards are an integral part of our Founders Day celebration and provide an example for all of us to follow. In living out the charism of Blessed Edmund Rice and being Edmund people in authentic service. We have six Brother Matt McEwen Faith and Service Award recipients for 2020. Two students, two staff members and two old boys of the college. These people have greatly contributed to St Edmunds and the wider community. The first student recipient is Noyal Sarji. Noyal has accrued 200 hours of service within the St Edmunds College Brothers Service Program. He is the house captain of O'Brien House and is always assisting others within his house and more broadly across the college. His commitment to volunteering at the St Vincent de Paul retail store in Queanbeyan is to be commended. He has diligently given his Saturday mornings to assist at the retail store in vary, varying capacities and generously offering his time and effort to ensure that the store is running smoothly. Noyal's altruistic qualities and ability to connect with students of all age levels are a prime example of what it means to be a young man of service and being a light for others in his community. 
The second student recipient is Leo Maris. Leo has completed 200 hours of service within the St Edmunds College Brothers Service Program. His main area of involvement in the college has been through supporting the creative and performing arts department in the areas mainly of music and drama. Leo is actively involved in leading and assisting with school productions, the jazz band, music for masses and liturgies, and other school-based events. He also generously assists various community events through his love of playing music. His work with the younger students in the jazz band has been exceptional. Sharing his talents and love of music to inspire these students to be better musicians. Leo works behind the scenes assisting staff with the setup and packing up after events. His humility, involvement and initiative are exemplary qualities of a leader of service in the St Edmunds College community. The first staff recipient is Margaret Thomas. Success in life does not come from what we have, but from what we give. Margaret Thomas, through her faithful service to the St Edmunds College community and her parish of St Thomas Apostle Cambar, can be considered a very successful woman. She so freely shares her passion and joy of music to support students to take centre stage and supportively assist them to succeed. Margaret weaves her musical magic to ensure masses and liturgies are an, are an authentic celebration of faith that engages all who are present. Margaret gives generously of her time to all aspects of the college, creative and performing arts department. Her calm and insightful guidance of the band and choral, choral programs have enabled numerous students to further develop their skills. The second staff recipient is Carmela Wilson. Blessed Edmund Rice has encouraged us to give to others in handfuls. This can be giving of time, effort or resources. Carmela Wilson's commitment to her faith and others demonstrates every day how to do what Edmund asks of us. Her commitment to her students to ensure that they are able to fully engage with their learning and experience success in, is an example for all of us to follow. Carmela's passion and commitment to her subject area is very evident in the effort and creativity she puts into producing learning materials for her department. The continued support and encouragement she gives to, to her staff is to be commended. She actively, actively assists them to grow in confidence and be better teachers. Carmela has been committed has been the committed driving force to establishing a formation and social justice program at the college. These programs allow boys to develop their awareness of others in need and provides them with opportunities to address these needs. Carmela's commitment to football at the college is to be admired. She unselfishly gives her time to ensure that the boys involved in football are able to actively participate and enjoy their chosen sport. She is available to address parents' concerns, assist coaches to improve the boys' skills and actively promotes more participation in football across the college. Carmela has a very giving heart and is very compassionate. She is acutely aware of the needs of others and helping in any way that she can. Carmela has the rare ability in this very busy world to be really present to those who need her, ensuring they, they feel someone is listening and that they care. A wise man once said, no woman was ever honoured for what she received, she was honoured for what she gave. Carmela Wilson, we honour you today. The first old boy recipient is Don Jeffrey.
The Edmund Rice tradition aims to build a more just and inclusive local and global community. Since 1954, Eddy students have been challenged to live out this mission, using Jesus as their example, through service to others. Don Jeffrey demonstrates this through his service to those experiencing poverty, disadvantage and homelessness in the local Canberra community. Don Jeffrey has volunteered with the St Vincent de Paul Society since 2014 and is the current conference president of the Narrabunda chapter. Vinnie's conference members conduct home visitation to anyone in need in the local community and provide financial material and emotional support. As conference president, Don both conducts home visitation and provides leadership and guidance to other volunteer members in the Narrabunda Conference. Under Don's leadership, the Narrabunda Conference provided in 2019 alone over $60,000 worth of assistance to more than 2,000 individuals in the Narrabunda area. Donations provided by Eddies and other community groups allowed Don and the Narrabunda volunteers to provide 135 Christmas hampers and presidents to local residents. These numbers are particularly impressive when you consider the small size of the Narrabunda Conference. Don embodies what it means to be a Vincentian through the sincere and respectful way he engages with everyone around him. He always demonstrates empathy and compassion to the, po to the people whom he is serving and advocates strongly on their behalf when needed. He is incredibly humble and does not seek recognition for his volunteer work. The St Vincent de Paul Society and the Narrabunda community are blessed to have Don as a volunteer. He is a wonderful role model for Eddie's students and alumni. The second old boy recipient is William Ma. The phrase Eddie's old boy has been used to describe the fine men who contributed to the making of St Edmunds College, a place where authentic and lifelong relationships are built and where a strong sense of community is experienced by all who pass through its doors. To be considered a true Eddie's old boy, a man must be loyal to his friends, faithful to his God, and be a man who is aware of the needs of others, actively trying to make the world a better place. William Ma is a true Eddie's old boy. He quietly works behind the scenes, giving freely of his time, talents and skills as a physiotherapist to aid in the recovery and rehabilitation for many old boys, staff, and Christian brothers over extended periods, often not charging for the treatment. William is a man of deep compassion for others, which was very evident in the continued care and support shown towards his year group and others affected by the tragic loss of a fellow classmate. Thanks to William, many at-risk young men who are a part of this cohort have benefit, benefited have benefited from his care and compassion. William takes seriously the practice of his faith and being like Edmund Rice, giving to the poor in handfuls through his involvement in many charitable organisations. He gives generously of his time, energy and resources to support various charities in our community. William has done all these things very quietly, never seeking the limelight or applause. He is a genuine and authentic role model of a person of service for us all to look up to. Congratulations, William. On this Founders Day, we acknowledge staff who have reached a milestone in their service and contribution to St Edmunds College. We acknowledge their dedication and commitment to educating Eddie's boys to be young men of vibrant spirit and strong character and leaders of the future. 
Each staff member will receive a certificate of service and a small gift of appreciation from the college. For 30 years of service, we thank and congratulate Mr. Tony DeFronzo. For 20 years service, we thank and congratulate Pat Langtree, Julia Roach, Ed Mickleborough and Tyson Flynn. For 15 years of service, we thank and congratulate Nathan Metcalf. And for 10 years of service, we thank and congratulate Tim Bibbins, Linda Mullen, Denzel Fox, Adam Buck, Sue Phelan, Debbie Lonigan, Andrew Kistrician and Adam Sordenson. Just like those we have acknowledged today, small things such as sharing lunch with a mate who has none, contributing to the Vinnie's Christmas hampers, raising funds for the walkathon and other charities, or making a meal for home in Queanbeyan. All these mount up to build a vibrant community of young men of strong character that genuinely care for others. As we conclude our Founders Day celebration, we accept God's invitation to have attentive ears, ready to hear, and generous hearts to say yes, to give our time, our energy, and resources in the service of others. Okay. Let us pray. O oh God, we thank you for the life of blessed Edmund Rice. He opened his heart to Christ, present in those oppressed by poverty and injustice. May we follow his example of faith and generosity. Grant us the courage and compassion of Edmund as we seek to live lives of love and service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed Edmund Rice, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. Amen.